Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, but I'm a crafter and I thought I would start my own channel and start with a project that I've already finished. So this is a crazy quilt pillow that I made for a really good friend of mine. Um, I don't know if you know anything about crazy quilts, but it was something that was started in the Victorian era. and usually those Victorian crazy quilts were made with a lot of heavy brocades and wools and silks and that kind of thing. Uh, nowadays you can use whatever you want <clears throat> including cottons which I quite often do. Um, but anyway so this pillow was made for a friend of mine who has kind of a warm golden red kind of color scheme to her living room and she gifted me with that cameo and wanted to know if I could do something with it and I thought to myself well sure I can do all kinds of stuff with it and I'm gonna gift it right back to her <laughs> so um, I just ruched a ribbon around it and stuck it on this pillow um, those beaded leaves to the left, those are called ginkgo leaves, and those came from a Diane Fitzgerald uh, pattern using the brick stitch and uh, Delica beads. So, uh, let's see. The image that I used on the front of this pillow was just downloaded from the internet and printed onto fabric. And so then on the back of the pillow, I didn't want it to be too fancy because I didn't want to take away from the front of the pillow, but I couldn't leave it blank either because it's just not in my nature. So, <laughs> uh, the red tatted piece there, kind of in the lower right, sort of, um, I made that. And the piece of trim right next to it, kind of the cream colored trim that I put red beads on came from my great-grandmother's sewing basket and it has to be like a hundred years old so <laughs> and it's one of those things where I'm I've used almost all of it and I don't want to like use it all because then it'll be gone but at the same time like what is the point in having it if you don't use it right so yeah anyway um, so my background started with traditional quilts back in the 90s when I was a youngin and uh, that button there came from my grandmother's button box and so I started with seam quilting and then I kind of uh, I did a little bit of crochet in there and then I did some scrapbooking and then eventually I went on to I guess embroidery quilts because I you know I really 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 like hand work so I like to have something to do in front of the TV and in the car <laughs> so there that's a close-up of that antique trim anyway so I started doing embroidery quilts and then from there I went to beading and I made a lot of beaded jewelry and um, beaded items and then I discovered crazy quilting and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. I just love, love crazy quilting because there's literally no limits. You can do whatever you want with it and just whatever, if you can stick it on a piece of fabric, it, it'll work. <laughs> so, um, and I think my next venture is going to be into the mixed media stuff like the junk journals and the gypsy journals and um, the doily books and that kind of thing so uh, I did all the work on this this is all hand embroidered hand beaded um, I did the silk ribbon embroidery and I just bought the trims and stuff at various stores and uh, that's that's about it. So uh, I hope to upload some more videos of my work and I hope that you will give me a thumbs up and come back and see what I put up next. Thanks for watching.